Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Big day today, Tuesday, the start of Champions League action. Match day six of six. This is the final day that uh, teams will have to try to secure their place in the knockout stages of the Champions League. So we want to look at a lot of stuff today, especially one group of cards on this game, which are road to the final items. We're going to be looking at guys from road to the final set one and road to the final set two and talk about which cards we could see some market movements on today and what you guys should do with these cards. I spoke about them a little bit in my video yesterday and in a couple videos earlier this week. Uh, I just said to be careful with them because we're getting down to that time frame where uh, these cards are reaching their first ever upgrade. These cards have not been upgraded yet, uh, but they are live items. The only live items that are Champions League items, just these. Team of the Group Stages are not live. Um, but we'll end up talking about those a little bit at the end of the video today as well. So, uh, road to the final cards. I want to go and take a look at the squad right now and look at a lot of prices with you guys because some of these have risen back up some of these guys were low after the weekend league kind of like the weekend league sell-off and people realized yo these cards are getting upgraded so especially alan who has always trended up i mean he was four 430 440 um and then he kind of went down into the weekend a little bit on friday with team of the group stage and now he has shot and back up to four hundred and seventy thousand coins uh this guy is probably going to get an upgrade napoli should be going through um, I would just be very, very careful with this card. Um, you know, all these cards, to be honest, I'd be very, very careful with. Uh, and they're going to get upgrades, right? And that's built into their price. These cards are live items. The people just love live, live items in this game. They know they're going to get upgraded. And a lot of these guys we've seen do not have a lot of supply and they are very inflated in price. But are they going to stay that way? I'm not entirely sure especially with this current state of the market. So if you have any of these cards, literally, if you have any of them, I would really, really consider taking the coins on some of those cards. There's a couple options where I would say, if you want to risk it, you could take a chance and risk it. And those couple options we'll talk about in a second. But again, I want to look through here. We looked in, in yesterday's video through this a little bit as well, but you kind of just want to get your minds right on what is going to be happening in Champions League tomorrow. Napoli is playing gank. They should get the win. And they should definitely go through if they draw. Well, they will go through if they draw or win. Um, so, or if Salzburg does not beat Liverpool. So if Liverpool wins, uh, then Napoli is in as well. So I think Napoli is basically a shoe in But I want to talk about some of those borderline teams again. And just some of the general market movements that we could see with these cards and with set two tomorrow. So a lot of these guys are like guaranteed to go in, right? Real Madrid, um, I think Juve is, about, is like guaranteed. Spurs are guaranteed. Um, and I think that City is guaranteed as well. So there are definitely some guys in here that are guaranteed. Um, and I would take the money on those cards even before the game starts. I would take the money before the game starts. Like you're watching this video, you're, you're most likely watching it before Champions League games are starting. I would really look at taking the money on a lot of these cards uh, some of them are not necessarily up from where they were before, but I think there's a lot of people that are buying up these cards, especially some of the ones you've seen rise up a little bit this week. Party is 173 at the moment. Party is 173. He has risen up a decent amount in the past couple days. What was he on Sunday? 160. Uh, yesterday, 170 pretty much all day. Yeah, so he's risen up a little bit from uh, from basically the, the weekend league and the panic from the weekend league sell-off and the panic from the weekend. Um... I would sell basically every single card um, before the games today just to be safe because these cards obviously we're in a market right now with a lot of downturn. I'm surprised that Bale is not down just because of a right wing messy card that could come out. I mean, you've seen one card that has taken a hit in price already is like a, a direct replacement for Messi and that is Usman Dembele. This card's down like 40, 50,000 coins from where he was earlier this weekend. Actually, it was 960 down to 895, but that's just because of a lot of messy panic. Most of the other uh, road to the finals have maintained a pretty high price uh, leading into this week. So again, I would take the money on all of these cards. But again, those teams that are in really close scenarios like Inter and Dortmund, I think Dortmund might end up going through. And the Sancho card is lower than what he has been in the past. And this is a card uh, we have to be careful with this because he could, he could get in team of the week this week. Um, but let me make sure they play on Tuesday first, right? Tuesday, December 10th. Yes. Okay. So... Dortmund plays on Tuesday, so that means we'll have the result of this match, uh, of their match against um, Inter is playing Barcelona. Yes, that's why Inter is maybe not the best look, um, but 
Tuesday, we should see probably a decent amount of movement on the Sancho card. This one could be one that does go up. Um, right now, he's like, what, 215, 220,000 coins. He was 280 at one point uh, after he was in packs. Now, obviously, the market has gone down since then. But this is one card where I could see it going up. You know, getting an upgrade, this card going to an 87 rated. You would probably eclipse uh, 80 passing for sure. And he might even eclipse, he would eclipse 90 pace. So we have 90 pace, over 90 dribbling, over 80 passing, and possibly 80 shot with the four-star weak foot and the five-star skills. A lot of people would be interested in this card. And even looking at the number of games played, this is a very, very popular card. Uh, considered, considered comparing it to like a guy, Thomas Party, with only 70,000 games played. And then Allen being one of the most popular with 520,000. So... You know, these cards don't have a ton of supply, but if they are losing, uh, like let's say Inter loses to Barcelona, right? And they go down to third place into Europa League. This card will not get upgraded. This card, you're going to see them like half in price, honestly. It, what they're not getting that upgrade, people are going to just panic sell those cards if they're out. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Uh, that's what we've seen in years past anyways. Neres is another one who's kind of on the edge. They have a possibility uh, to go through and he could jump up a lot in price. Conte is honestly an interesting one as well. I think Chelsea's group is actually really close. Uh, yeah, that Lille, uh, Ch Valencia, Ajax, and Chelsea. Chelsea has to beat Lille, um, which definitely seems like is very possible. Um, they have to they have to draw and I either they win or they draw and Valencia has to lose to Ajax. So there's a lot of stuff going on with this group right here. So all Ajax has to do is draw or if Leal beat Chelsea. So that's kind of an interesting situation with this group, Group H, that I would definitely keep my eyes on because that affects Was, Nerez, and um, and who else? Who's the other one that that does affect? Conte. Of course, I would love to see this Conte card be a live item and continue to be upgraded, um, but that would be crazy market movements. If, uh, if they do lose and go down to Europa League, I think you will see some panic selling. On a lot of these cards but regardless i think you're going to see these guys prices trickle down as we head through the rest of this week these guys are not going to be upgraded until friday like thursday night friday time frame after europa league games are done i don't think you're going to see these guys get upgraded until then uh, until then i would take the coins i would get rid of them even a guy like militao i do think could trickle down in price especially with the introduction of the team of the group stage ramos card into the game kind of like a um substitute good basically for the um the road to the final militao uh, this new ramos item is not quite as good obviously he's lacking on some of the pace that um that militao has but he's still a really solid card and he's he's half the price he's less than half the price of militao so i'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that want to try this card out this week and the links that he's going to get to a lot of you know a lot of people run you know Varane or Lingley in the back line with a Ter Stegen. so this Ramos is like a plug and play with a lot of people's teams uh, at the moment. So that's what I would be. That's why I'm a little bit scared of Militao. Of course, he's still one of the best center backs in the game. And if you're looking to buy that card, maybe you watch his price go down a little bit over these next few weeks. Because another thing to remember is, boys, we are on the cusp of footness, uh, and in a long period of time frame where these cards will not get upgraded you know road to the final allen is like 470,000 coins right now um but this guy's going to get upgraded this week probably uh then he might go up to be an 87 rated card but then he's not going to get upgraded until february when um the knockout stages actually start so during the christmas time last year during team of the year even a lot of these cards um they just kind of trickled down in price because they weren't forgotten about of course these are very meta and very usable cards that a lot of people put in their, their teams um but they just didn't have as much of the hype because they weren't getting upgraded and they weren't uh in those games that affect their live item ratings so that's what I would say about that. And just take the safe route and get them out of your club and get them out of your team uh, and, and do that. And then you're, you're good. You don't have to worry about it. You're good to go, um, especially for a 2 million coin card of Sun, who now has another item in this game that is actually higher rated. Of course, it's a position change. Uh, but these two, I mean, these cards, Sun's got all the special cards already, man. He's got three special cards with an inform, team of the group stage, and road to the final. So that is very interesting, I think. From those cards right there so again just watch their prices today you could do some live trading with these uh you will have the opportunity to do some live trading i did some of these during match day five i actually traded with um i had traded with was during the valencia chelsea game last time and in game week five 
because Wasp right now I think is like 50k ish, right? A little over, a little under 50k. Um, but when they were down to Chelsea, his card was tanking. He was down to like 40,000 coins. And then uh, Valencia scored those goals to, to bring the game back even. His card went from like 42, 43,000 coins all the way back up to above 50K. I think I flipped I flipped four of them. I bought them off like 43 or 44 and sold them for 55,000 coins. I do believe 54 or 55K. So that was a nice little profit. And that's the stuff that you can do during these games. If you see swings in the game, a card is going down and the other team is looking like it has momentum to come back, that's an absolute way. It's very high risk. It is very high risk because, of course, those cards are going down because people don't want them because they're not getting upgraded from this next set. And that's why people were selling Wasp because, you know, if they lose, you know, less chance of getting upgraded. Um, but that's the kind of stuff you guys can look out for to trade with these cards during the games tomorrow. They're going to be fluctuating up and down in price. If we have crazy games with crazy scores lines, and the game momentum is going all over the place. That really benefits these cards. Uh, again, especially one card to watch is going to be Handanovic. Uh, put this into perspective a little bit at the moment. I mean, I feel like this card is overpriced the way that it is. Handanovic is 116,000 coins. And who, who are you going to use this card with unless you're using a Serie A defense? And how common is that compared to how many people use Ter Stegen, right? Ter Stegen is also 120,000 coins for his new team of the group stage item, which I would argue is a way better card than this. I mean, Ter Stegen has like 90 kicking or something like that. So uh, I know that's not the biggest stat in the world, but this is a really solid goalkeeping card. Um, but uh, Ter Stegen has way more hype than him, and Ter Stegen is 120k. So... That's what a live item will do to the market. It would just valued so much higher. But definitely watch this card if they lose to Barcelona. I do think that he will go down in price a lot. Um, and that's like the best Serie A goalkeeper in the game at the moment. And it still has the opportunity to be upgraded when it turns into a Europa League live item um, after that game as well. So that's a little bit of my prediction on some of those cards. I want to talk about team of the group stage as well. Um, because believe it or not, People believe in this game. There are people that believe these cards are live. People think these cards are live, and I actually have a couple of cool values on my transfer list right now because um, early games uh, on Tuesday is Group E and Group F. I think have some of the earliest games, especially Napoli. I think plays one of the first games. Uh, so I bought an, a cool Bali because he's going to be one of the first people. Obviously, a lot of people like investing in cool Bali because he's 100K. He's a great center back card, and he links to that road to the final Allen. Um, so if they do win early on in the game, if they're playing well, if you see them score goals, don't be surprised if you see some of these cards going up in price, especially like a Koulibaly, which I have a couple of on my transfer list at the moment. And actually a couple of them I've sold for Lazy Buyers today, which I'm not bummed about, but almost, uh, you know, I was hoping to see if I could maybe get a few more thousand coins for him if he does have a rise. Um today because of the uh, the Champions League games and uh, the performances that their teams put in. So definitely keep an eye on some of these cards. Uh, it's crazy that people think these are live, but you definitely sh could see some market movements because of that. Now, other Champions League content that I do think we could see today, I want to talk about uh, some supply that we could see today. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these UEFA marquee matchups that have been coming out. I do think we'll get a two more, uh, a two set of marquee matchups today on, on Tuesday, which we usually do. They do one Tuesday game and one Thursday game. Now, I don't know if we're going to get Spurs Bayern again or Barcelona Inter because those games are happening again this game week. This is obviously an old SBC. I don't know if we're going to get these two games, but I mean, these are some of the two biggest games this week as well in terms of like biggest clubs that are playing uh, this week in Champions League. But I do think that's going to bring some supply on the market because you, can, as you can see here, these two packs last, uh, basically for every UEFA marquee matchups, we get pack supply and people do these packs. Um, they do these SBCs because you get packs and you know what's in packs right now still? These um, Team of the Group Stage items. So I'd be very careful with these again. I think there's going to get supplied tomorrow, which might hinder some of the quote unquote rise from those cards being live items from what people think and then buying them up. So just be careful with those again tomorrow. Um, if you have any of those in your team, it could be a possibility since the pack weight on these cards is honestly incredible. They're popping up on the market all the time. Um, and that does make me a little bit scared for these cards getting a pack supply on Tuesday. Uh, also, one thing about Tuesday and pack supply is uh, the possibility for 
Uh, let me find it right here. The possibility for the SBC fodder cards to actually take a dip in price. 86s are 17K. 85s are almost to 10,000 coins. 87s are 24, 25K. Wow, all of these high-rated golds are up like three to 4,000 coins um, because of people investing for that messy SBC. And if we continue to get supply, you know, if we get supply on Tuesday and on, on Wednesday, you might see these cards, you know, maybe dip a little bit just because they're getting pack supply. Uh, but I feel like there's so much emphasis on that messy SBC that you will see people reinvest in these cards. If they do get low again because people have set parameters like, you know, 89s at 40K or a buy or whatever. So I do think if you see some pack supply today on Tuesday, you might see maybe not an opportunity to invest in some of these cards, but you might see them go uh, dipping low again. And I guess an opportunity if you can get some cheap bids on some of the SBC fodder cards um, that could be that could be packed a decent amount because of supply. And again, you know, some of you guys like to invest. You know, this video is going to come out before uh, UEFA marquee matchups. So if you have your guesses for who you think is going to be in UEFA marquee matchups, or, or even just um, stocking at your club with a couple of these uh, UCL rares, 650 coins for some of these. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Pick a couple guys from good nationalities, from good leagues. Let's go. What's the cheapest prem? UCL player. It is uh, like 750 coins. You can get yourself. Maybe try to get some higher rateds for for discard if you can. Bet you why 79 rated, not bad. Maybe try to get like a Winks right there for 80 or a Christensen, you know, stuff like that. Try to get some on bid, uh, but do a little bit of a club stock maybe with some of those. That could be pretty beneficial just in case they are required for uh, the marquee matchups SBC. Uh, that would be something I think would be. A good idea or it's something that you could just kind of fill your club with i guess to possibly uh, make some coins on especially the commons i will point that out last time we had an sbc that required commons which was this last week some of these common cards like this mason mount is a common ucl or van ginkle is a common even ross barkley is a common uh these cards went to like two or three k because the commons there are not as many of them in the game as the as there are rares so especially, I think I saw, oh, Lalana is a is a, is a non-rare. So th this is how you can tell the difference uh, with the cutouts on the top of the card. This is a rare item and a non-rare. It's basically the same as a gold card, but it's the blue version. So Christensen would be possibly a great non-rare. You might be able to stash in the club at basically discard. And uh, if they do require the commons, you might see those cards uh, go up a little bit in price. You know what? I'm going to snag me a Christensen right now, chuck it in the club. And if they require commons, uh, then that's something that we could see go up tomorrow a little bit. So that's something that you guys can look out for as well. But again, today, UEFA marquee matchups is almost a guarantee. Possibly some sort of uh, UCL upgrade pack. I don't know if we get upgrade packs for Team of the Group Sage, um, but that could be some sort of content today. But expect most of the content to be Champions League based again. With Team of the Group Stage being sort of a Champions League based promo. Uh, and then, of course, the actual Champions League games happening today as well. So if you have Road to the Final cards, I'm going to say take the money on them before the games. Take the safe route um, because a lot of them are kind of trickling up from where they were before. And I do think this is the first opportunity that we have to see those cards kind of go down in value. Uh, we'll have to see how, what happens with this first set of cards. Like, you know, somebody on the edge like Wendell and Leverkusen. We'll have to kind of see what happens to a card like that. Of course, the actual game outcome will will uh, definitely determine what happens with some of those cards. But, uh, you know, a guy like Wendell, depending on what happens in his game, if they pull through and go ahead, that might give us some clues on some of the Europa League cards. Like Juan Jesus is a very, very popular card that people have invested in. Uh, the Juan Jesus uh, Road to the Final Europa League card. Uh, a lot of people have invested in this card for good reason because he looks like a freaking beast. And when he gets that upgrade, it could be a So uh, if you're up on this card already, I know a lot of people bought this Juan Jesus at like 50K. Um, I think there's so many people invested in this card that you just might want to take the coins as we do get closer to his game as well. First owner tradable Juan Jesus getting listed up on the market right there. Crazy. First owner tradable. I'm not going to buy that because uh, I'm not sure what I could really flip that for. And I think there's still a lot of first owner trade. Look at these, men. Third owner, fresh cards. A lot of these on the market. That shows me that a lot of these people are investing in these cards and they've invested since day one and they've kept them in their club. Uh, looks like this guy right here at 84.5. Look at how many this guy's got. This guy's got a bunch of them at 84.5 right here. So he's definitely an investor that's looking to get these out. Look at all these men. 
84,500. And with uh, a lot of fresh cards being on the market, we can check this uh, another way as well. Take the max buy it now off and look at some of the other fresh cards in the market. Are these all fresh? All right, some of these have games on them, four owners fresh. So a lot of these cards are fresh, man. As I'm looking through here, I see multiple different uh, fresh cards, another fresh one. That just tells me that people are investing in these and maybe not using them yet. A card like this could get used, uh, but he's inflated so much that he could, even, even if he's gonna be guaranteed the upgrade, he could dip down in price as there's a lot of people invested in him since his price has gone up so much. So that's something to look out for as well. If you see a lot of fresh cards in the market, that's a sign of investing, and that's a sign of not really a lot of in-game demand um, on a card like Juan Jesus, for example. So I'm glad I noticed that right there at the end of the video to kind of point that out to you guys. Um, but again, uh, road to the final stuff today, a lot of movements, Champions League. Hopefully your team does well and performs if you're cheering your team on either today or Wednesday. And then of course, if your team is in Europa League on uh, Wednesday or Thursday, I think, those games are being played as well. So good luck to all your guys' teams. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.